Hello everyone, we're back with Gunsmith Part 17, and this time we have to mod an AK-102. This one's a bit of a pain because of the muzzle device, so let's jump straight into it. I've got my build here, and we're going to look for one on the flea market as always. Just make sure that whatever you start with has enough durability. I'm probably going to pick one that's more of the default configuration like this one, just because it's easier to showcase. So the first part, in order to get the concussion reduction device on the gun, we need to put on the CNC Warrior, the AK CNC Warrior 556 muzzle adapter. On top of this, we now need to put on this, the Furfrans CQB muzzle brake. On top of that, we then finally find the piece that we need, which is the CRD concussion reduction device. This is the painful part because it is only accessible on Peacekeeper 4. There's nothing else you can do to get it other than pay 300k on the flea market. So you might just need to suck it up if you want to progress with Gunsmith. So there's actually a lot of flexibility in the rest of the build. The way that I like to go about the handguard section is to link search the gas block. And I like to look through and scroll through all the different handguards until I reach one of the MOE versions. A good example here is this FDE version. And I bought one of these for mine. Let's go ahead and slap that on. Next, we need to buy a 4.1 inch rail. I'm gonna put that on. And onto this, we need to use the Magpul AFG Tactical Foregrip in Olive Drab. This is the only one that works for the quest. Make sure that you get the right one. These are pretty cheap now, but you can only technically buy it from the trader after you've completed this quest annoyingly. Then on the other side of the handguard, we're going to add a regular two and a half inch rail. And onto that, we're going to add the Clash 2U. It's this huge, big flashlight thing. So we're gonna stick that on there. Next, this is a rather unorthodox method. This is actually different to the wiki method by quite a way. Instead of using the bastion, I'm going to use the dogleg rail. This is not that expensive. It also prevents us from having to get ergonomics in other ways and is accessible easily on the flea. Onto this, because we need 800 sighting range, I'm going to use the Romeo 7 like I've used on all the others, but any with 800 sighting range will do. Then another required part is this RPK tube. We need to put this on. And onto this, because of the way we formulated it, we can just use the DS-150, which is nice and easy. On the pistol grips, we can just use the saw, which again is another very easy part. And we also need this C-10AK. There is only one way to get this, which is off Peacekeeper, but you can buy it on the fleet as well. Once we've done all that, I'm going to select my weapon, which is the one that we've already done. Can't build it because it's exactly the same as the one that I've made. I'm going to go and hand this one into Mechanic as well and move on to the next part of Gunsmith. 